Hello guys, welcome to today's, today's, this week's weekly vlog. I'm starting it in the car because I'm driving to the city for a quick lunch meeting and then I actually really want to go and get my nails done but um, I'm not sure if they have time for me so we will see and then I might pop into Zara and look at the sales have a look at the sales if i find something but last week when i went it was such a chaos in the store like you couldn't find anything so i think i should probably better look on the website but yeah i sometimes like to see it in person too but well and then i also might want to go and pick up a new book even though i have like five books at home that i still need to read and seriously about 15 books on my kindle that i need to read okay i sh probably should not go and buy a book i probably sh really should not go and buy a book but yeah um that's the plan for today um in this week's weekly vlog one wish that um a few of you had actually is to do more collection videos and especially shoe or skirt collections because you saw that i own a lot of skirts in my youtube outfit of the day shorts if you don't know i upload my outfit every single day as a youtube short and i think this week i will start with the skirt collection but be warned i have so many skirts and i probably can't um put on every single skirt because otherwise we will be here for a whole day because i have so many but i will show you all of them and yeah, I will probably do that maybe tomorrow or today when I come home from, yeah. Or maybe, I'm, sorry, someone just walked by and probably thought I'm a real weirdo. But well, yeah, probably do that tonight when I come home if the lighting is still good or tomorrow. And because tomorrow, oh no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I have... Um, I have to go, I have to, I get to go and view um, my dream apartment. It's literally my dream apartment and I want to get it so, so bad last week. I want to view another few apartments and there was one I liked, but it's not comparable to the one that I'm going to view tomorrow. It's like the dream because I now live in a very modern place and I really want to um move into a more like um older place like with the nice old parquet 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 wood flooring but still a new kitchen a new bath a new bathroom and this this apartment seems to have it all and it's oh it's stunning and i'm so scared that i don't get it i'm so scared like oh i probably scared the um Oh, someone's walking past again. I probably scared the person who rents it, like the landlord. I probably scared him away because I called him yesterday and told him how much I like this apartment and that I will send my application before I even see the apartment because I like it so much. And it probably was not so good. I don't know, but please hold your thumbs for me because I really. I really want to get it. I really, really want to get it. Really, really want to get it. It's, it's a dream. It's the dream. If I get this apartment, you can look forward to a lot of very good interior um, content. With every apartment, you can look forward to that. But with this apartment, especially because it's just so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but now I need to go because otherwise I'm too late. So I'll see you. Bye bye. While I was in town, I did not buy anything. Here I am in Zara going through the skirts and it was just not super interesting. But I loved this dress. It was Nguyen, obviously. Then in H&M Home, look at this beautiful tablescape. And also those vases. I love them. And here just some more beautiful things. I need to get those things for my apartment. Loved this bouclet jacket from H&M and this robe. Very, very pretty. And in Mango, I saw those two sweaters and the beautiful knit. And they were only each 25, but I did not buy anything. Hello, everyone. So, it's time for a little story time because I hope you can hear me because I might turn off. My little Dyson, my best friend. 
Okay, it's time for a little story time. <sighs> I went and viewed the dream apartment today. The dream, 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 dream apartment. And right now, um, I'm just hoping that I get it because he said he has a lot of people who are interested in the apartment. Um, uh, I really need to get it because actually now this is my point of reference and I will not like any other apartment because I know that an apartment like this exists and you can't believe how excited I was to go there. I felt like before an exam at university, I felt exactly like it and now I feel exactly like after the exam when you wait for the results. But the apartment was actually so perfect. It was, I really want um, an like old style apartment with the old crooked flooring, the high ceilings, like the ornaments on the wall and, and, and everywhere. I really want that because the place I'm in now is super modern. So I really want a change. And this one has it and it has a fully modern a new kitchen and fully modern a new bath and that's exactly what I want and now I'm waiting I'm excited uh yeah I will keep you posted um now it's quite dark outside already here's my little bear if you have not met him my boyfriend gave it to me gave him to me about like five years ago and I, I love him so much he's he's such a cutie and yeah I think today I can't do the skirt collection because it's super dark outside and now you can only see me because I bought this Alex Earl light this new mealy light from Amazon it's amazing um yeah but I think for the skirt collection daylight would be better so we're waiting for tomorrow so i can show you this girl collection then and yeah tonight i will not do anything interesting i'll just cook dinner now i will read a little bit um i always like reading some like manifestation and books at the beginning of the year and now i'm reading a tony robbins book it's like 600 pages so I have a little bit in front of me um yeah and always if i read i think i've told you in a previous blog that i have this book challenge not with anyone else just with myself that i read like an average a book a week like 52 books books a year but with books like that they are quite hard to read in a week so <laughs> I, I i will fall behind on my book um challenge but then on the other hand there are other books that you can read like uh love uh, love um novel novel i like a book about like a love story you can you can read a love story in like two days or one day sometimes so yeah i will make it up but now i'm going to read maybe i code a little bit because i do enjoy teaching myself coding in in my free time i know i'm weird like that but i do like it and if you want to learn it go to code academy it's not sponsored at all but that's how i do it and yeah maybe i also go on pinterest and manifest this apartment and how i will design it and how i will furnish it and everything actually like i already know how i will furnish it because when i was in there i could seriously see it in front of my eye how i how it would look how it will look if i would live there so yeah have a nice evening and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, so now, as promised, I'm filming the skirt collection. And as you can see, let me just show you very quickly. Those are all skirts and shorts. Those there and there. All skirts and shorts. Um, I won't try each one of those on because actually if you follow me on youtube and youtube shorts you will see a lot of those shorts on in some outfit videos but i'm just going through there um i'm just doing shorts no not shorts skirts and not shorts this time because otherwise we will be here even longer so now let's just start real quickly um maybe sometimes i have to watch and see 
So, okay, this one, we start with white and beige. This is one of my favorite skirts. I got it at a random boutique somewhere when I went on holiday, I think in Greece or Italy. Um, I bought it so many years ago. It was like 10 euros, but it is so good. Um, thick, nice, frilly skirt, just a very, a very good one. And then there are four shorts here, or skirts too. Well, oh my God, I think that's harder than I thought. <laughs> Because I am, yeah. well, I'm making a mess. Let me just put them here. No. Baguette. Oh, and I found my McWorld liner, so let me just put it on. It was, believe it or not, in a handbag that I checked five times, and on the sixth time, I, I finally found it. Don't know how I could did not see it the first five times, but well. That's how it is. So then, next skirts. This one is from Zara. It's this corduroy skirt. Got it a few years ago. Don't wear it too often, but still wear it sometimes. Then, I love white skirts. This one is a Love Shack fancy skirt. Just the very classic Love Shack fancy skirts. But actually, if you buy a Love Shack fancy skirt or if you thinking about buying one um they're very short so they are very very short in the back so i would just size up because they have this like thing that sucks in anyway so even if the skirt is a size or two sizes too big it will still fit you but yeah you won't show your bumps your bum cheeks because um with the white one there like it's a risky business. It's a risky business. Then this one is also a Love Shack fancy skirt, but it's just in a nice rosy color. And I also got the matching top to this one, which I really, really like too. And then this is also a white skirt. This one is an older one from Zara. And it has those nice embroidered things to here. The band here. So yeah, very beautiful. I love white, white. Skirts. I actually love white clothing anyway. I love like all white clothing. So yeah. Then we come to the like patterned ones. Let's say that. This one. Zara. One of my favorite skirts of all time. It's like seriously six years old at least, but still perfect. Very thick. Look at this. It has stones embroidered. It's very well made. Like this, this is one of those very well-made star pieces. Then this one. I love this one as well. This is just like two years old, I think. It's from Mango. And it reminds me of the of Dior. It really reminds me of Dior. Or Chanel. Like Chanel and Dior. They both did a very similar print. Um, yeah, so I really like that. Then we come to... I have to say most of my skirts are Zara. Because I think Zara just makes the best skirts. This one I actually have... I've worn this already i don't think so maybe once this is like a gray skirt from zara and also this is also very very short so that's why i bought this one which looks very similar it's just more brown toned but this one is a skirt and not as not only a skirt but i still show it here because it looks like a skirt but yeah also zara and you can still get it i got just got it a few days ago um in a sale what better way to buy something than in the sale? Then this one is a, an Iro skirt. And I just ordered the matching blouse. So this will arrive very soon, hopefully. And then those, this one is also a Zara skirt. Skirt, literally never wore it. Never wore it. But it's, yeah, it's, it's very cute. It's very cute. I just tried it on once, but I never wore it out. I hope because it it did happen to me in the past that I wore something and um, that still had the tags on and yeah that's embarrassing I know. Then this one is an old skirt. A skirt? No, it's a skirt. It's not a skirt. I wish it would be a skirt because it is a little bit short as well. It's very old from Storitz, but I love it. Tweed. I love tweed. I just love tweed so so much. Then we have another tweed skirt. This one is from Zara as well. 
also a few years old but i really like it i really like it it gives me those blair waldorf vibes here it has the buttons the beautiful buttons like here on both sides so very very pretty very 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 pretty Zara skirt and yeah like i said Zara for me is the go-to for skirts oh no those are shorts those are shorts then here is another skirt this one i think is isabelle marron is it right yes this one is isabelle marron also a very beautiful one so frilly i love just girly pieces i mean i know sometimes i have my phases where i love like the edgy pieces with the blazer the leather skirts but sometimes i have my girly phases where i just want to wear frillies and sparkles and glitter this one is from zara as well and also i wear an extra small in all zara skirts because i think just it's, it's just a size that fits me the best but um if there is no extra small i sometimes just and i really want it and it's like a sale or nearly sold out or something like that then i sometimes also just get just get the small because there's not a huge difference between the extra small and the small so yeah but just for size reference then we go up here there are more and more and more oh my gosh how many pieces do i have here so this one is zara as well it's quite old but this was when gossip girl was still airing and i thought this skirt is very serena mandelson even though i prefer flair but it was very serena so i like it and it was also kind of flair this one is a skirt from zara and yeah just simple zara skirt then this one is this skirt i think it's it's from h and or is it from zara as well oh no it's from zara as well but this one is also very old it's like it's at least eight years old or something like that and i think it looked like an isabelle Marron skirt at a time or maybe like 10 years ago i think and yeah isabelle Marron was a bit too expensive for little me so i bought the zara version and i really liked it i wore it a lot i really wore it a lot then this one this one is an h&m skirt just simple like snake print skirt also very pretty in the summer just with some like a blouse a very simple blouse just for simple outfits then this one there is no tag where i bought it from i think i bought this one from one of those instagram stores so yeah i also really like this one it's just it has something like something english countryside like and i really like the english countryside look even though i do not live even close to the english countryside and then we have here we have another I think this one is from Zara as well. Here we have another just annual tweed skirt because, as we've established, I love tweed skirts so so much. And then oh, we have some other white ones. Oh my gosh! I should count them. After that, if I rewatch the video when I, whilst editing it, editing it, I should count them. And this one is also from one of those random Instagram stores because I really wanted um. Uh, skirt like that but it creases so much and it's such a pain to um, iron those little pleats so I really want a skirt with pleats that you don't have to iron I don't know if this exists if you know one please 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 tell me I was already thinking about just buying a workout skirt with pleats because they do look very similar to like a tennis skirt so yeah maybe I do that but then I don't know if it looks good if you see that it's workout material i don't know this one is a very old it nearly like is not white anymore i don't know if i can keep that but it's a very old just tweed white skirt from believe it or not zara and then here's the shorts okay i have to get rid of this i think because it looks like it doesn't look it needs an iron it's a skirt from zara but also like 10 years old but i think if i iron this one then it will look good again it, i seriously think that this is also a skirt from zara that needs ironing it really needs ironing those are shorts 
This is, oh, this is skirt from Zara. Oh, oh no. I think the time has passed, probably. It's a fake leather skirt, and do you see that? It looks, okay, you need to obviously wash it and iron it from the other side, but at the back, you see that? I mean, it's just at the back here, the leather is coming off. Do you think I can salvage that? I don't know. Uh, but I realized that it was one of my favorite skirts, to be honest, and I still, I I still love it. Oh, those are shorts, but I mean, those are shorts that need to be shown to you. Zimmerman shorts, like the most i love my white ones but those are also very pretty because they're just so oops they're just so special this is also a skirt from zara they all need an iron and they are like on top like on the upper part of my closet there because those are the ones that i do not really wear a lot so yeah now we come to the bottom part but to the dark ones like the black ones and dark gray ones i think this is a skirt from Theory. I just got it for Christmas, so we did not wear it already. But I'm no, I wore it once. I wore it once. I did wear it once. This is um, skirts. Then this is a skirt from Zara with the slit. It was very Instagram famous, I think, a year ago, and then I, that's where I got it. But they still make it. They still make it. This is skirt from Iro. Just a simple circle cut skirt. A simple black circle cut skirt i'm sorry there are some people outside um making a noise then 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 oh here this is a zara skirt it's just a zara leather skirt they, it also has a little belt with a gold buckle but i don't know where it is right now i just removed it once and don't find didn't find it again so yeah need to look for that this is a very pretty skirt from Zara as well. Navel. You really like it, but it's this one is seriously old. I think it's like at least 10, 12 years old. I got it when I was very small, like very small. This one, oh, this is one of my other favorite skirts also. I think Mango is also like they're killing it with skirts. Sometimes this is a mango skirt. I love it a lot. And also the materials of mango skirts are so well made. This is a scar skirt, a H&M skirt. I'm not always the biggest fan of H&M, but this one is really, really, really pretty. Like really pretty. Then we have, Oppa. you always need to be so careful with fake leather, putting them on top of each other because sometimes they um, get ruined. I ruined a lot of fake leather pants and leggings from Zara, Zara like that. This is just a simple, Croc snake embossed fake leather skirt from Zara. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a Zara addict, I know. I know, okay, here are shorts. And those are shorts. And here is a, oh here, oh, this is probably my favorite black skirt. It's just a simple mango skirt. Yeah, love that one. A lot, I really love it a lot. Then here, oh this one, oh I love this one too. Oh, it was like hidden there. I really like it. This one is a Zara skirt and it's just like um I think a year ago, maybe even less. So maybe they still have a similar one. I don't even know it. But I'm actually sure they have because they usually repeat their styles. This is a velvet black skirt from Zara. I think one year ago, two years ago. This is oh this is a bigger one. Where's it from? This is an Isabel Moran um, black skirt. Yes, I know it one, but it's a little bit too big for me. You know, it's like, yeah, it's it's a small, it's a very small size, but it's very big. I think, I don't know. I think this little thing there does not work anymore. So I really always need to wear it with a belt, which kind of sucks because I like just wearing the skirt. This is a very glittery Zara skirt as well. And I also have the matching top. I think here, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm sure I have it somewhere. Where is it? Okay. I will look for it in another video because I don't know where it is right now, to be honest. But um, are those all skirts? No, I have. 
This is my little letter because I don't always have stuff there. I also have quite a lot of um how do you see how do you how do you say them? Um quite a lot of those uh, what are they called? Oh here is another skirt. This is like a businessy skirt. It's from Zach Posen. I also have some other business skirts like the you know I think Zach Posen Prada they do the best business skirts but they are like in the back because I don't wear them all the time. This is my Goldie denim skirt. And here oh here this is a pretty one. This is a very old I think Juicy Couture. Yes a very old Juicy Couture skirt. And actually it's so on trend right now because now all of the pleats are back and back and trending and I seriously seriously bought this skirt when I was when I was 12 so yeah and this is just a simple black star skirt as well that I have here somehow because I don't really wear it anymore what is this oh this is another businessy skirt this is a Diane von Fürstenberg just a simple black pencil skirt and yeah I think that's it i think that's it with my skirts and i hope you liked the skirt collection let me know what our collection video you want to see in the next video and i will show you i make sure to show you and now i clean up the skirts that i have still here on my desk but yeah that's that's the skirt collection for now